Every time when I'm online, I always see like top five and top three. They put me in there, but it's like a new, another two people and me. <laughs> Next year, it's another two people and me again. It's not by accident. I hadn't made any music for a while, so I needed something to like return back with. And I remember listening to that beat and I was like, nah, this sounds like victory. I remember I just wanted the song to be really uplifting and make somebody who was doubting herself like believe in herself again. The Meek Mill song, Dreams and Nightmares, the intro, I was definitely thinking about that record. I was thinking of something that somebody would listen to before a championship game. We don't get angry, we don't get even, we don't talk about beef by the way that I mentioned, I just turned vegan. One of my fans see me with a burger the other day, talking about, yo, I was just listening to Gas Me Up, man, this is contradicting, like, you know what I mean? But it was just a way of me saying that, you know, I ain't got no time for no conversations, people telling me who's in beef with who and who just had a fight and who robbed who. And them days are over. I need the pagans breathing so they can see my new Top Boy season. I need the pagans alive so they can all see that it's still my time. Sure everyone around the world knows about Top Boy. It's a London story. I'll definitely say it's a story that I relate to because um, I've lived that life in it. So when I say my Top Boy season, it's just my episode now that I'm going to show everyone. Isn't it? In the UK, we know the pagans, that's like the non-believers, you know what I mean? The ops, you know, a lot of people always talk about they want their enemies dead and that, like, but I feel like them seeing me succeed and their sisters and aunties and mum even, it's like a fan that makes me even more happy. I don't know why they act tough online. I see them outside and they ain't saying nada. As soon as you say on site, we're looking for you like some vintage Prada, looking for you like some archive pieces. If I ever see a piece, a vintage piece that I like, I'm going for it. I don't play. I'll buy it off someone's back. That's how I would be looking at you as soon as you say it's on site. Jealousy in the ends, they hate when you become successful, but in the trenches, we were all friends. How long we trying to pretend? I know they love to see me do well, but only when it benefits them. Is it about money or is it about girls? Either way, I'm threatening men. I try not to let people with bad energy make me close off or decide to not help others no more, decide to not, you know, collaborate with others. I still work with open arms, but, you know, I'm not surprised anymore when people show me their true colors. Some people are made to be happy for you and other people are just made to hate. C just texted her diligent, yeah, because the outfit's making sense. I told him it cost to be the boss and to be this fly is the same expense. And we just went triple platinum, check the digits. Most of these brothers is tired and washed up, bro, but they won't admit it. To be fly and to be the boss, they both cost a lot. Clint, my bro, Clint from Cortez. Every time he'll see me in a hard fit, he'll just text me diligent. After the fourth time, I found it funny, innit? And I just thought to myself, I'm definitely gonna put that in a bottle one day. How many times have I dumbed it down to make a boy feel like he's on my level? And I ain't talking about kettles. I ain't talking about precious metals. I'm talking about taking a year out Still, I can't see no competition, can't see anyone threatening my position. I was kind of surprised when I, when I took a break and I, and I thought to myself, no, nah, there isn't, there can't be another Skep. It was to the point where people was making um, remixes of all my lyrics. They're saying, okay, cool, Skep, if you're not gonna rap, we're just gonna remix all your stuff anyway. So I was surprised and I was kind of like, wow, this is, this is fire. Like there will never be another Skep and there's still demand for Skep. I told D, I need a chauffeur because I'm so driven, should be in the back seat with both hands free, right? hand making plays on the iPhone and my left hand gripping on a BB, it's me. My mum and dad, born Nigerian, came to the UK, you know, and had me. So I think like being an immigrant child, I've always had a level of dissociation to society. So obviously I can see and respect other human beings in front of me, but I'm very like, I have dissociation, you know what I mean? And it allows me to hyper-focus, it allows me to have drive, it allows me to see things in my mind and actually go and do it with no distraction because I can, I've been alone for most of my time in my head. Praise the Lord for the life I'm living. Big Smoke Records alive and kicking. Dinner in Milan with the finest women and none of us sexing. Now I'm just chilling. Your taste level is my waist level. You ain't ever heard of the wine I'm sipping. Heard you say this year's your year, then you better hurry up boy, time is ticking. I don't really like to, to brag on that, but like I just always just see people just wearing and doing stuff that I was doing like years and years and years ago, you know what I mean? So I don't think people will ever catch up to my, to my level, my taste level. I need a card that don't decline, every day's a party. I'm with my brothers and my choppers and my charges. And we're still the same, ain't nothing changed except the car keys. So I'm in Japan, yeah, we was in Tokyo. We was in this club, yeah. It's going up, everyone's having the fun, time of our lives, boom. Time to pay the bill, bring the check. My card's heavy as well, I got a heavy card. Like, you know, I, heavy, so I've given them the card, decline. 
oh my goodness, now I'm the guy, I'm the meme on the phone to the bank telling them the transaction is me. I remember standing there thinking, nah, man, like I need a car that don't decline, this is crazy. I told her to gas me up, I need the gasoline. I'm trying to slide it in just like a cash machine. I made a milli on this phone with a cracked screen, so don't beat around the bush, please say what you mean. That line was was just me saying like, no excuses in it. No matter what you have, make the most of it and use what you have to the best of your ability because that's all you got, you know? You got a cracked screen phone, still got to run it up. I've made a million on my phone with a cracked screen. I'll make another one, I'll make another one. I could do it with my eyes closed, right? So look, don't even bother wasting my time, man, because I'm, I'm going to go for it, you know? If you don't want to make money with me, I'm gone.